How's it going, everybody? I'm Josh from Elder Dragon Highlander, and this is our deck builder's guide to Chatterfang, the newest silver bordered squirrel legend out of. Wait, he's not silver bordered? He's in a regular set? He's in modern? Those mad lads, they finally did it. This is what the people wanted. Anyways, this video will be structured much like our Brawl and Shabras guide from a little while back where it'll be more focused on general deck building strategies and includes rather than showcasing a specific deck. That means that in this video, I'll be getting combo looted and breaking down multiple infinite combos with our seductive Squirrel Sensei showcasing squirrely strategies and also talking about a few specific squirrel lists, one of which was made for a lightning build contest that we had on our Discord. That's right, immediately after the squirrel was spoiled, Squirrels! oh my gosh. Immediately after the squirrel was spoiled, we sent an announcement out on our Discord and our Twitter for a lightning build contest. Whoever built the best squirrel tribal deck using Chatterfang as either the commander or a key card would get their deck showcased in this video. We had so many spicy spicy entries, more than I expected given the intentionally short window to make a deck, and it was really hard to decide which one to go with for the video because of that. Each list was unique and showcased something powerful Chatterfang could do. In the end, I decided to go with the list that I felt most quintessentially showcased the Squirrel Tribal themes along with Chatterfang. That list was... Solanus's Chit Chat Attack. This list plays well into the Squirrel Tribal theme, using most of the classic Squirrel cards and pairing them with powerful sacrifice and anthem synergies. I especially love the inclusion of cards like Garuk Cursed Huntsman and Marin of Clan Nel Toth, which play upon the sack themes of the deck to really push things into overdrive. The list also runs a few of the infinite combos that I'm about to showcase using our Squirrel Friends token generation ability. Let's get combo looted and take a look at what Chatterfang can do for you Squirrely Johnnies out there. But first I just want to remind you to subscribe to our channel. We release spicy deck techs every other week as well as other content such as our art videos and also our drunk tank videos which are basically just me and Austin talking shit for 20 minutes. If you really like our content and want delicious perks such as weekly deck building advice, crafts made for you every month, and your name in all our videos, we implore you to join our Patreon and help fund our channel. We just got Austin a new microphone, which is awesome. What are you waiting for? Subscribe! Join the Patreon! Hit the buttons! The simplest way to combo with our squirrel friend, and the one featured in Solanus' deck list, the Reddit spoiler thread for this card like 3 minutes after it came out, many of the other contest entries, my own two iterations, and most of the other Chatterfang decks that I'll be sharing, involves Pitiless Plunderer and a way to kill your squirrel tokens. Anything from Astronaut's Altar to Skull Clamp will do. Simply sack a squirrel to make a treasure. This makes another squirrel. Now repeat. You get infinite treasures. That's it. It's easy. It's simple. And it makes squirrels and money. Most people's two favorite things. I think. You can even use your treasures to pay for your sack outlet, if you're into that sort of thing. The Squirrel Hulk CDH deck that we're about to showcase as part of this video uses this combo since Pitiless Plunderer, Viscera Seer, and Disciple of the Vault are an insta-win off of Protean Hulk. This can be run on its own like I have in the deck, or alongside a traditional Hulk package in order to go nuts as quickly as possible. This isn't the only amazing 3 card combo Chatterfang is capable of though. We also have yet another pirate, Ruthless Knave, who combos alongside Ashnod's Altar to create infinite mana and or tokens. Just sack a squirrel to make two treasures. This in turn makes two squirrely boys. Now sack one of those squirrels and a treasure to add three mana. Then sack the other squirrel to our brave knave to get two more treasures and squirrels. This leaves us with one treasure left over. We can also use Phyrexian Altar here to go neutral if we have something like Zulaport Cutthroat. This combo can also draw our deck once we get our infinite mana due to the Knave's sweet second ability. Austin came up with this combo as he has, and I quote, been trying to break Ruthless Knave for years. This combo is one of many sack combos using Chatterfang in the Squirrel Pirate Tribal deck that I have featured down below. That deck uses Pirate and Squirrel synergies to make various sack loops and win using token doublers and treasures. Combos like this one are even easier with a doubling season or something similar. 
With a mana doubler, you don't even need the altars as the knave makes four treasures and pays for his own cost. Normally, I hate on doubling season, but this is one of the decks where I think it really shines. Parallel Lives is still better though, just saying. Yet another three card lethal combo with old Chatterfang involves Ashnod's altar yet again. Yeah, yeah, I know. You can fart on this card and go infinite using it just the stench alone. Just listen to the combo, it's sweet. This combo also involves Slimefoot, everyone's favorite fun guy from Dominaria. Use Slimefoot to make a token. Chatterfang gives them a squirrel friend to play with. Now sack both to the altar. Your opponents lose one life because Slimefoot got angry. Now use that four mana from the altar to spit out two more tokens. Repeat until everyone dies and they ask you why you're running a fungus in your squirrel tribal deck, to which you can respond with something cheeky such as, don't judge me for my decisions, you don't know what I've been through, or maybe my squirrels enjoy microdosing, or you're not my real dad, I know who my real dad is because he's one of my patrons, or shut up Austin, stop instigating me. Yeah, any of those will do. Combo is great too, I guess. There are many more powerful synergies that can be exploited using Chatterfang. Cards such as Tendershoot, Dryad, and Friends can really pop off with our squirrels. A deck route that I didn't showcase but considered building would be a green-black stacks deck that just wins with reanimator, token beats, and maybe a Razaketh package to take advantage of all those juicy, juicy tokens. Conversely, you can also use cards like Opposition Agent and Praetor's Grasp or Sepulchral Primordial if you want to be extra spicy to find Dockside Extortionist and go nuts with that. With the Primordial, if you can make enough excess mana and squirrels, you can use Chatterfang's own ability to sack the Primordial and the Dockside. This requires a lot of treasures though, so it's probably better if you have a sack outlet. Chatterfang also makes Nim Deathmantle packages that much easier with either of the stupid sexy mana altars. You can peep a bunch of these combos in the Squirrel Pirate Tribal deck. Oh. And this isn't a Chatterfang combo, but it is a Squirrel combo, and having Chatterfang around makes Squirrelcraft make infinite mana as well as infinite 1-1 Squirrely Boys. And then, you can use Chatterfang to wipe the board. Pretty fucking sweet. Even without going infinite, Chatterfang can put the hurt on with Squirrely Beats. Deep Forest Hermit and friends make 10 tokens with Chatterfang chattering about which means we can untap on the next turn and swing for over 20 damage with our deadly squirrel army. Add in Door of Destinies and Crashing Drawbridge and it's game over, man. Solanus showcases these strats to the fullest in his Chit Chat Attack deck, running all the big squirrely token generators alongside the best tribal buffers. No matter what route you choose to take him, there is no denying that Chatterfang is powerful and, dare I say, mm, really bonkers. Yeah, you've probably heard enough nut puns by now. I'm sure that you're nut about it. Hey! The other deck lists submitted for our lightning build contest were pretty freaking sweet too. I won't get into explaining all of them in the video, but I will say that each and every one is incredibly spicy. I honestly should have expected it given that it's our discord and we build spicy decks there together all the time that each of the submissions would blow my mind but they're all really 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 sweet and really 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 weird. You just, you gotta look at them. I have links to all of them along with our short descriptions of what they do down in the description of the video. It's a description in the description if you cut that. Along with all of our other squirrel tribal decks from this video. I gotta say, I am so impressed with all the builds coming out of our Discord for this contest. Everyone on our brewery channel is a pretty big fucking brain. If you want to be part of the next contest like this one, or even just play games with us and chat, come hang out on our Discord. Also, subscribe, join the Patreon, hop into our Discord, follow our Twitter, Insta, and other various social media all linked below, leave a comment, ah, you know, the, the promos, the, the promos at the end of the video, yeah. Oh, and go look at the other deck lists in the description. They are all fire. Stay janky, my friends.